Hey, I'm Juliet and I played Ensign Wallace. Hi, I'm Will and I played Charlie in Line of Duty. So I had worked with a crew member, Stephen, in a, on a project the year before and he put me forward to the director, Aaron, and then the director reached out, sent me the script. I really loved the script, sent in an audition and got the part. Um, and I was responding to an advert on a casting website and I um, sent off a video audition uh, and Aaron, the director, got in touch with me and, and said that he enjoyed it and would like me to be part of the project and one thing led to another. I hadn't seen the other work. When I first read the script, I was like, oh, what, this sounds really cool. Um, but naturally it being sci-fi, I was just like, how are we gonna logistically make this happen and make it believable? But I went and looked at some of the other work and I was like, wow, these are done really well. So I had pretty high expectations because of the previous films and I got pretty excited about it, to be honest. Yeah, I think when I was in the process of filming my audition tape, I had a look back through the other, um, some of the other films, and I'd seen the, definitely the Derelict and the Fall of Starbase One um, before I was cast, um, and seeing those projects just made me kind of really quite excited to be um, involved in one of them, yeah. One thing that was different, I guess, was filming, you know, just on one day a week over a extended period of time, because in the past it was usually, you know, you're on set, it's consecutive days, you kind of, you're in that world for like a week or 10 days and you're just there. So that was, a, that was a bit different, but also nice in the sense that it gave you time to really, I don't know, come back with something new and something to explore. Um, and it was the first time I'd worked with Aaron and I really liked working with him as a director. I felt really safe around him and I trusted his, his guidance. So not that I haven't trusted directors in the past, but I loved working with this director. This project was sort of unique and fun and interesting in so many different ways. It's kind of hard to narrow it down, but I think coming to, um, coming to the sets yeah. and being sort of transported to a, yeah. a completely different um, world and something that we were uh, completely not used to. Um, certainly haven't done any sort of um, sci-fi films or anything um, based on a spaceship. I thought that was, yeah. that was really exciting. Uh, but also at the same time, it's sort of different, but the, all of the relationships and stuff were still sort of human relationships, which were, um, were sort of quite easy. So they were, were more comfortable to, to work with. Yeah. No, I, I had not. No. And you? Yes, yeah. Not much, but yeah, yes, yeah, some. Did you watch any, like, as sort of racing? I did, yeah. Once, you know, once the ball got rolling, I was like, wow, I really need to understand this world. And then I started watching some and I actually really enjoyed it. It's a cool series. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watched some uh, when we were working on it, just because it's uh, out of interest, really. And to get some of the, the references and yeah. understanding how some of the, the characters might work. And um, so, yeah, watch some as, uh, as research. I was Ensign Wallace and I really loved her because I felt I really connect. I love how she, you know, she fought the good fight and she, she had big dreams and she went for it. And I really admire that in people. So I love that aspect of her. Um, and I feel I could relate to a lot of her. Um, there was a lot of things I could really relate to and where, where she was at because it's kind of, I've been at places like that in my life where I've had to step up or, or I've had to, you know, throw myself into situations I'm not sure how I'm going to handle. So I enjoyed, you know, reliving that, but in someone else's shoes. 
<clears throat> um, but she's she's a really cool character. She's got a lot of determination and she's got a really good heart and I find that really admirable. So I was your best friend, yeah, uh, Charlie, and um, yeah, it was nice to give you someone sort of fun to to bounce off. I think it was yeah. it was although he had his own life and his own problems and stuff, I was seeing him as really a supporting character and giving you something fun to bounce off and, and then obviously when it all comes tumbling down later on, um, makes it even, even more emotional. Yeah, it was, um, it was such a whirlwind, but a really fun whirlwind because I, got a, I was able to put on so many different hats. The fight scene was a lot of fun. Um, I remember rehearsing it and figuring out, you know, I had this new weapon that I'd never seen before in my life. And <laughs> it looked so real. I was just like, wow, this is, you know, this is great. And uh, working with Ron, Ron really gave me so much energy to work off. So the fight scene was heaps of fun. Um, also, I love the outdoor scene because I felt like we had a lot of fun on the day. Mm. and. It was, it really captured their relationship. Yeah. And the, the banter that was involved in it. And yeah. Oh, look, we had fun when we were shooting and then yeah. and when we were walking between yeah. locations and stuff. It was yeah. Just a, a really pick, giving our director a piggyback. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, we just had a really fun day that day. That day, yeah. And, <clears throat> and all the days, of course. But, yeah. But that day was. But that day was in the sun. Yeah. yeah. And the speech, I. I really loved prepping that because I got, I was able to learn so much. I was able to look up Latin, I was able to look up French words and I was able to almost create this speech because I gave myself an English version of the speech so I could actually believe what I was saying. And I really enjoyed having that creativity to do that. And so that for me was, that was probably one of my funnest things to prep because I had so much creative freedom. Aaron was just like, just go for it. This is what I want you to achieve with the speech and go for it. So that was, that freedom was really fun. It was definitely the on the floor in the prison after the, the fight scene. I thought that was, um, it was, it was something really fun to kind of sink our teeth into. Um, and yeah, it was a really hectic day of shooting with lots of um, extras and batlets and everything flying everywhere. Um, and then for that to all quiet down and everyone was really quite respectful and um, it was a lot of fun to just sort of, it was all stripped down, just sort of a human moment. I would say probably the scene where she finds Charlie dead, emotionally um, the character's at a really intense place and um, getting to that place and making it believable was challenging but as I said we had a really strong support network, you know the director was really supportive, the crew, the other actors, so although it was challenging I felt supported. Sort of how I developed my character um, was from the sort of the first day that we read the script, and I'd obviously read the script before coming to the read through, and I knew that these characters were best friends. Uh, they joke around quite a lot. So from the very first day we were doing the read through, I was just sort of trying to joke around with Juliet and and get uh, that sort of making sure that that relationship was kind of there already so it was quite natural when we yeah. the camera was on and so sort of when the camera was pointing the other way we were just sort of joking around and then action and it was just sort of continuous and, and hopefully seamless. hopefully seamless and truthful uh, hopefully yeah <laughs> I think a lot of it came from the script, to be honest, and my my backstory was all kind of like, okay, if she's here, where where 
did she have to be to get there? So it all was derived from the script and then also playing off, like Will said, the energy of the people around me. Um, I didn't have one particular like person or thing inspire me for her. It was a combination of a whole lot of different things. I'll go first and let you think. Yeah. Um, I don't know protocol for corpses in space. <laughs> she put them in a torpedo casing and they shoot them out into space. Is that for real? <laughs> cool. Then beautiful. He's drifting through space, flying, which is one of his favorite things to do, dead yeah. or alive. So um, I'm living the dream. <laughs> yeah, mm. <laughs> literally. L yeah. So that's where Charlie is. He is gliding through space, um, living his best life. Uh, has that given you enough time? Yep, that has. Perfect. perfect. And uh, <laughs> considering she's a very determined uh, lady, I think she's probably back up there trying to make peace. Uh, you know, trying to make peace up in up in space again. And she's she's going back there to finish what she started. She made it. Um, she made it. She oh, of course she made it. <laughs> And some walls we're talking about. She didn't Definitely. just get. Oh no, she made. Like shot down by. Ah, uh -uh, she made. Romulans it. as soon as she left. No, 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 no. no. She's, we'll she's, too, ask, she's too smart. For I guess that. we'll have to ask Aaron. Yeah, we will yeah. have to ask Aaron. But my guess is she made it. Of course. I would say the Lord of the Rings. I love the Lord of the Rings, and I think it's a really big world that you could really play with. Who would you want to be? What would the story be? Do you have um, any scope? Oh gosh, no, I, I think I'd want to be an elf. I love the elves. Um, I don't really know what the story would be. Uh, I'll think about it and get back to you. Um, maybe Pokemon, but I think it would, it would have, obviously oh. have to be an animation because I think anything non-animated would be like sort of dressing up your cat, <laughs> painting yellow and just sort of yeah. Um, no, yeah, voicing some Pokemon would be really cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah.